you know, being able to treat people via hologram one day. So if you look further down the road, as 5G develops, this is going to be, in my opinion, as vast a change in our marketplace as the internet. So that's an ad from AT&T. The issue of 5G dominated this year's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas as well. 5G technology as the next industrial revolution. When we think about 5G, we think about 10 gigabits per second for throughput. We talk about 10x better life. We think about 1,000 times more data volumes in the networks. It's just radically different. I would say it's a quantum leap compared to 4G. That's Verizon CEO. My thinking about it is this. In the end, we're going to see more evolutionary technologies in the short term and more revolutionary technologies in the long term. And the reason I'm hopeful for those more revolutionary technologies is that when we think of wireless today, we just all think about that motor, uh, that mobile phone that's in our pocket or our palm and it's with us always. But when we talk about 5G and the next generation of wireless, we're talking about wireless connectivity appended to almost everything we do, mm -hmm. which can make us more effective and efficient and produce more data in ways that we have not seen before. And so what you have to do is stop strictly thinking about the phone as wireless right. and think about it as diffuse and all around us in the world at large. Yeah. Again, uh, in China, it's a no cash society. Already. Uh, it's already you know you can you pay with your phone you don't use cash you you go to any department store that there's no more you know cash and and uh, everything is just digitalized so i think you know by by letting chinese companies um uh taking over 5g we are looking at at giving this country a, a fairly powerful position you know and, and also i mean not to mention the human rights aspects and and you know uh, you know um, liberties civil liberties which I mean, it's a system that in China is working not in favor of the individual but but in in favor of again you know a, a very practical uh, uh, pragmatic way of doing business and China is going to gain from this uh, and it's going to ex export its own system to other parts of the world so that that's it's all it's a societal. Uh, subject as well as a business and technological subject. A little bit in the sense that the Chinese uh, are already sort of uh, digitalized, so to speak, and the whole country is like this. So it's it's better than here. But on the other hand, who knows? There are many, you know, unknown factors uh, about it, about China itself, and who knows whether we're going to be in an entirely, you know digitalized words. Uh, I, I think probably yes, <laughs> but um, um, therefore, you know, so Silicon Valley and, 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 and the companies that are able to provide alternatives should, should uh, step forward and, and offer, you know, their own technology. Yeah, this is an issue. In addition to getting the airwaves to market, we're going to have to figure out how to put facilities on the ground, many of which are called small cells, to make this technology viable. To give you a sense of the volume, there are some data out there suggesting we need 800,000 all across the country in the next eight years. And to do this, we're gonna to have to figure out how to work with local municipal jurisdictions to make it happen. Because in the United States, we have a long legal and cultural tradition of local control that is very different than China. So the question becomes, how do we, throughout our national policies, make it an incentive such that every state, town, and hamlet wants to get this stuff deployed. Some of my colleagues at the FCC have decided the best way to do that is to preempt all of their authorities at the state and local level. Right. Okay, so let's take another call here. Let's go to Lauren, who's calling from Griswold, Connecticut. Lauren, you're on the air. Oh, thank you for taking my call. Um, I have health concerns, actually, with 5G, because I heard of some studies done, and I understand that the distributive frequency is so high as to cause damage to organic tissue. Uh, because the, the switch up from 4G to 5G is exponential. And we already know that electronic, you know, I mean, people don't live near high, high wires. They don't put houses near high wires, you know. So every time they put up more or enhance these towers, the people near them are going to be affected. Mm. And naturally, you know, uh, this is a problem. Yeah. 